power perspective that dude dug. I'm going to say some things that may aggravate some people, but it is what it is. Me personally, I'm sick and tired of black people talking about the systemic racism. Let's stop it because it's not there. Like we sit up here and constantly talk about the systemic racism. And I, for one, agree with all the right wingers out there. There's no such thing as systemic racism and white privilege. There isn't. Not at all. But it reminds me of a story about some people who came to an apartment building and said, hey, why don't you allow us to fix your cable? Even though nothing is wrong with it, why don't you allow us to fix your cable? So by whatever wiles or means, they got in there and fixed the cable. But the cable wasn't needing to be fixed and it got broken. But we're not talking about just the cable. As a result of the cable being fixed, they have also affected the electricity in that said building. So now with the cable being broken, the system, the electrical system has been affected as well. So now the lights don't work. The air conditioner or the heater doesn't work, which means that it's colder in the winter and hotter in the summer, which may affect somebody's mental or emotional or physical state. On top of that, you can't even plug in the space heaters or the fans to negate that. Why? Because the system has been broken. And finally, the electricity affects the refrigerator and the freezer, which means that more than likely your food has gone bad. And all of this because the system has been broken. But instead of them focusing on rewiring and fixing the system, they just focus on the initial infraction, forget all of the residual effects, and just continue to hand out flashlights with only 50% of the batteries working, and they continue to rearrange the light sockets and the switches to take your mind off the system being broken. Hmm. Also, Confederate statues. Black people, we need to stop tripping about that. That shit happened hundreds of years ago. What is this piece of hunking stone really going to do to you now? What is this cloth that shows stars and bars really going to affect you? Is it really going to affect you? Like the right wingers say, you need to get over it. It's part of our history. It's our culture. But it reminds me. What if we went to Nicole Brown Simpson's parents' house? And as they get ready to go about their daily um, routine, they leave their house, they pet their dog, wave to some of their neighbors and get in their car. And as they drive, they wave to another neighbor and continue to drive and talk about their day and how they're just gonna continue to perpetuate and move forward. They turn to the main plaza and all of a sudden they see a life-size statue of O.J. Simpson in his Heisman pose. And instead of the inscription telling what it is he actually did, they find a way to finagle it and say, here is a monument to Orenthal James Simpson, a guy who could outrun the law. Somebody who stiff-armed Lady Justice. Or you go to John Wayne Bobbitt's house. And as he comes outside of his house and pets his dog and grabs his daily paper, as he takes a sip of his coffee, he sees a building size statue of Lorena Bobbitt. In one hand, she holds a knife, and in another hand, she holds his dick. And the inscription reads, this is for Lorena Bobbitt, a woman who took life by the balls. Do you think he would like that? Or would he come out and just say, hey, she cut my dick off. I'm just saying, maybe black people do need to get over it. Or maybe the culture 
and the powers that be need to see that the systemic things have far exceeded the initial infraction. Food for thought. Scrape the plate.